In the beginning, there was only one that existed. So, let's talk about the beginning of time, right? We all are interested. So, what happened was, there was just one little dot, and another little dot. And I don't think you can really see that, so let's make it a little bigger. There was one atom. And there was another atom. Now, within these atoms were smaller stuff, which were like electrons, protons, neutrons, blah, 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 blah. And there were many things that were happening, right? So, let's talk bigger let's talk cooler stuff right um so you might have heard about the big bang which was when uh which was when the smallest subatomic atom collided with another when they collided they created the universe that we know today and at a huge rate it was just increasing and all of a sudden it's here and all of a sudden we don't even know where it is we don't even know the shape of the universe what if it's a square i mean many people think it's a sphere or a circle or like a four dimensional or fifth dimensional sphere or whatever but what if it's a triangle? You never really know. So that was pretty cool, but but then where did they come from? Like where did the where did these come from? They didn't just magically appear. And what did the world look like before? Was it just what did it look like? It was empty, okay. And so. Um, so there was only one, like, existence, um, they, everybody called him Chingus, so Chingus, let's draw him, um, honestly, I don't really know how Chingus looks, so we'll just draw a circle, um, with a line here, like that, yay, there we go. There we go. Um, and so now, he, Jingus, he had many chins. You don't understand this. And then we need to have to add the microscopic details of his chin. Okay, he had like so many chins and then once he looked down so what happened was that when he looked down the chins got so overwhelmed that they just burst and so the chins burst and so chingus um Kind of like went away for a little. Uh, he didn't die, but he was gone. And so that those chins, they just released what was in them, and that was the universe. Okay, so now the universe is there. Cool, right? And now um, things just kept expanding. This became into two things. This became into two things. This became into not one, but two things. It just kept expanding and expanding and expanding. 
And then Chingus finally returned. And then he was right there. Exactly. He was mad. Um, so... And so, while this was happening, there were, like, by this time, there were, like, dinosaurs and stuff like that. So, what Chingus did was, um, Chingus, so basically what he did was, he took his ginormous hand, and he just wiped it all out, okay? Universe gone, now there's a new start, so now we need to restart everything, and so now... He created his own universe. Um, um, so now, yeah, now, now he created his own universe, um, and it was nice, right? I mean, this is the one that you're living in. So, he's creating his own universe, right, and so, he's doing his stuff, and so, out of nowhere, a new person r arose, and that new person is, um, in many religions, some people call him the devil, and that's, uh, some other people might call him, and there are many things that they can call him, but they, um, uh, we call him Bob, um, so, so, as you can see, just Bob, um, although this man called him, um, <clears throat> uh, Chingus called him Fatso. And so Fatso got mad. So Fatso sat on the universe. And so and so um that's where the global warming comes in. So whenever oh god. Whenever Fatso every second that Fatso is on the universe, the the warmer it gets it gets so, ever since that moment, Chingus has been trying to pick Fatso up. So, um, these days, um, good's not happening much. I mean, there's a lot, I mean, like, he keeps coming and going to make sure things are good, but until then, he's trying to train. So, Chingus is off duty. So, if something bad happens, just learn that, just know that Chingus will come back soon. Um, Everything's gonna be fine, uh, so, if anything happens, just blame Fatso, and if anything is good, then you can, uh, say thanks to Chingus. Um, more on Chingus later. Goodbye, everybody.